Hello and welcome to this topic, part two, which is classification. And we're looking at uh, plants with flowers, or in other words, flowering plants. So just a quick recap, uh, what is classification? There are millions and millions of organisms and uh, species in the world. And we have, scientists have grouped them into certain groups. And that's what we call classifications. So flowers contain sex organs, which produce seeds for reproduction. The male sex cells are inside the pollen grains. And the female sex cells are called ovules. Pollen grains are carried from one flower to another by insects or maybe the wind. And this is called pollination. So uh, if a bee, for example, were to land on one flower, its back and its body will accidentally come across different grains of uh, pollen, pollen grains from the male sex cells. When that particular bee flies to a different flower, then that body and the pollen grain on the bee will rub off and it will dispose of that pollen grain in the female sex cell called ovules in a separate flower. And this whole process is called pollination, whereby pollen grains are carried from one flower to another by insects or generally just the wind. The sex cells then join together. This, is, this process is called fertilization and the fertilized ovules develop into brand new seeds. So we've got a few examples here for you. The first one is the flower buttercup. As you know, it's a, a very beautiful, small, yellow flower um, and it's called buttercup. Now this, it, this buttercup flower is insect pollinated. So the flowers are colorful and scented to attract insects. And when the insects actually see colorful plants or flowers, then they're attracted to them. And that's when they actually carry the pollen grains to other flowers and other plants. So grass flowers are wind pollinated. So the flowers are light and feathery and they catch the breeze and the wind. And there's an example for you here. When the flower dies, the seeds are left inside a fruit and fruit helps to disperse or spread out the seeds. Three types of fruit are shown below. The first one is what we call the sycamore seeds have wings and they are dispersed by the wind. So you may have seen these sycamore seeds uh, and sycamore type of uh, plants, whereby when, they, when the wind blows them, they actually fly like a helicopter and they go round and round and round and round. And these seeds have wings, so they just are dispersed by the wind very, very easily. The second example is the burdock seeds have hooks. You see these small little hooks here sticking out of the flower. And this catches onto the animal fur. So if an animal were to be walking past, the fur will catch on to the burdock seeds. And that's how they disperse and spread out into new seeds as well when they fall on the ground. And then we have blackberries. And blackberries are juicy, but the seeds do not actually digest. Okay, so there we go. Some nice flowery plant examples for you. After you've read this, please answer the following questions and we'll review these in our next class. Thank you.